Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Sunday. Happy St. Patty's Day. Okay guys, we're back to talk about Jax Taylor who's discussing his fallout with Stassi and Bo, but also what led to the Britney split. And we have more from Britney Cartwright and more of them together. So we're going to obviously go through all of it. Before we do, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead, smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and um, let's jump right in. Okay, guys, so first we're going to start off with the Jax Taylor mentioning it all because I think that's the most important part to start at. Um, thank you to Reality Blurb. Jax Taylor is admitting to mishandling the situation surrounding Stasi and Bo in their May 2022 wedding in Rome. Nearly two years after he and his now estranged wife, Brittany, opted out of attending the event last minute, the Vanderpump Rules star expressed regret over the falling out with Stassi and Bo, and he also offered an update on his and Brittany's separation. He threw a little bit of shade at Rachel, Raquel, whatever you want to call her, and explained the real reason he was so upset at Tom after their affair. Okay, so he's doing it all. He said, I handled it wrong, and I'm really sorry, talking about the Stassi and Bo thing at the Vanderpump Rules premiere at Jax's Studio City. I wish I could take it back because I lost two amazing people in my life and in Britney's life. Mm. Now, while Stassi and Bo chose not to appear on the Valley, Jax said that he was hopeful for a future reconciliation between them. Even though they don't like me, I still love them and I'm very open about that. I love them and I wish we could all be friends again. I wish Bo, you know, could see my restaurant because this is what he would love. I miss him dearly, and I wish they were a part of this. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? But yeah, I miss him. I miss him a lot. It's emotional, and we all make mistakes in life. But according to Brittany, she and Jax 1,000% wanted Stassi and Bo to join the Valley. Although a number of Vanderpump Rules cast members, including Sheena and Lala, are expected to make appearances on the show, Jax said he would not want to see Raquel make a cameo. He said, I want nothing to do with her. Just seeing what I'm seeing on social media, she needs to get a real job. She's doing everything she can right now besides get a real job. That's kind of rich coming from him. Weeks before the party, Brittany confirmed that she and Jax had separated and moved out of their $1.9 million home. That And Jax shared some details on what led to the breakdown in his marriage. And again, he did deny cheating. We're just having a little communication issues right now. That's all. There's nothing else. There's no cheating. There's no infidelity anywhere. It's just communication. I know it's shocking, but people sometimes just don't get along, and that's life. But in addition to starring on The Valley, Jax also returned to Vanderpump Rules Season 11 and will soon be sitting down for a heated chat with Sandoval, which if you guys don't know, that's going to be this week. That's the Vanderpump Rules Season 8 episode. And the Season 8 episode is going to be the one where we get the segue. So that's going to be a big deal. Um, because they're going to do the same thing that they did after Sheena had the conversation with Brandy Glanville. And then all of a sudden, Sheena walked into the back and people didn't know what the hell was going on. But it was like, you know. This is why I'm not allowed to sing in the house. But that's exactly what we're about to get, okay? Which I think is a really cool way to do it. He's going to end up leaving the conversation with Tom, according to executive producer Alex Baskin, driving over to the Valley, and then, boom, we're going to be in a new show. I like it. Okay. He said, I want to make it very clear. I did not go after Tom Sandoval about cheating. That had nothing to do with it. Let's be honest. Everybody on the show is cheated. Nobody has a leg to stand on. My anger issue was with how Sandoval handled it afterwards. He didn't stay here. He didn't take the bullets. He deflected them onto Tom Shorts, who had to sit there and take a beating. But following the reveal of Sandoval and Raquel's affair, Shorts and Sandy's took a major hit, and Shorts was left to pick up the pieces. Because Tom Sandoval wasn't around, his restaurant took a beating, is what Jack said. He was going through a lot of stuff with his family, and I just felt like, dude, why'd you take off? You should have never left L.A. You should have stayed here and said, you know what? I fucked up. I made a mistake, and I'm going to own it, and I'm going to be here for my business partner, my best friend. That's what I had a problem with, and the fact that he left his best friend, business partner, I want to make that very clear. I don't give a shit who he cheats on. I don't care. But these days, Jax and Sandoval are in a better place, and Sandoval has become a regular at Jax's Studio City. 
frequently singing karaoke on Monday nights. Everybody's made mistakes, especially on Vanderpump Rules, is what Jack said. He cheated on Ariana. It's been a year now. I feel like it's time to move on. She's happy. Clearly, she's doing very well. She has a new boyfriend. So it's time to stop talking about Scandaball. There's other things to talk about, like the Valley. What a nice little plug there. So he's like, why are we talking about this when we could obviously be talking about the Valley? Um, yeah, I mean... That makes sense. We could be talking about the Valley, but the Valley hasn't come out yet. But I think the Valley has a shit ton of press around it right now. I'm going to play a clip for you guys. Here we go. Kind of obvious why I did what I did because of everything that we've already seen in the trailer. Like, I think it's going to be you know, throughout the season, you're going to see little things here and there. And then it just got worse once the cameras went down. And, you know, I just kind of hit my breaking point. I can only take so much after nine years, you know. What was the breaking point for you? Just, I mean, you'll see it on the show. I don't know how much I can give away right now, but just like, just being put down constantly. I can't, I can't deal with that, you know. So, I deserve to be lifted up like the queen that I am, okay? I was, you took the words right out of my <laughs> <Thank> mouth. Thank you. <laughs> well, I guess then what work do you need to see Jax put in to, to get... Hmm. And then there's one more thanks to Byway Hello Drama. We're separated, and that's, and that's it. Um, we work together. We see each other every day. We work together. We got podcasts together. Uh, we have businesses together. Um, I, and I know that everybody's out there saying that I quote unquote cheated. That's not true. Um, it's just a communication thing. Believe it or not, people can separate other than cheating. I know it's crazy, but people can not get along and, you know, and still be okay. Still be, you know, co-parenting and running business together. It can happen. And we're one of those people that are making that happen. You know, we just happen to have a little bit of communication problems, um, you know, and that's really about it. That's all I really want to say about it. If you could predict the future, do you think you'll get back know. together? I don't know. I don't know right now. I have no idea. It's uh, it's a busy time for us right now. We have a lot going on in our lives. Um, you know, who knows? Nothing's changed. The only thing that's different is we don't sleep on the same roof. But as everything else, we see each other every day. Uh, there hasn't been a day gone by since the separation that we don't really see each other unless I'm working or she's working. Um, but no, we're co-parenting. And uh, like I said, we have podcasts together. It's not affecting our day-to-day. -day. It's our it's our personal life. So our businesses just run like everything else. And people are so invested in their relationship that yeah. Bravo decided to bring cameras back up yeah. to capture yeah. the aftermath that of the split. What, yeah, what's that experience been like? Uh, you're going to have to see. You're going to have to see. Um, it was tough, though. Um, I kind of had an idea they were going to do that when it happened. Um, but it was tough, but you're just going to have to see. It's, I, I don't want to spoil it. We're separated. Okay. Well... I'm going to stop sharing that right now, but there were photos that came up of Jax and Brittany, and this was outside of the rental that they, well, she has. Um, thank you to page six, but Brittany Cartwright and Jax were spotted together outside of her new rental home in Sherman Oaks. And according to photos, Jax was seen opening the gate for her. She held a pile of clothes. He also pulled the trash and recycling bins for her. So he was doing things to kind of help her out, but they kept it casual. Um, and who knows? Nobody really knows what's actually going on at this point. But I honestly, I just want to hear what your thoughts are. It is St. Patty's Day. It is 11-11 right now while I'm recording this. Make a wish. And that's it. Guys, pop off in the comment section. Smash that like button. Show some love if you haven't already. And we'll see you tomorrow on Monday. Love you guys. See you next time.